All right, so you know I've been playing around with uh, several different kind of compilers lately, uh, BASIC and Pascal, but I haven't really touched C, and that's because I'm not really great at C. I've tried to learn it before, but I don't get very far. Um, I don't know what it is, but I just can't pick it up. But I decided uh, one more try, and this time because I'm, I've been playing around with the uh, Amiga emulator, I decided to learn uh, VBCC, which is uh, a compiler that targets several 8-bit, uh, 16-bit uh, platforms. Uh, so I thought it would be a, a good way to learn an, uh, an existing language and play around with emulators. So what I've done is uh, I've updated my icon editor here to export to C. Now I've done this without even actually testing anything first. So I have uh, a few Amiga specific formats and I just basically added code to generate the uh, the C code. This is, uh, I've done this before with uh, the Amiga Basic. So it's roughly the, the same format except in, it's, it's just uh, C arrays as opposed to uh, loading everything into um, Amiga basic arrays and I've done the same thing with uh, Pascal. I've been playing around with uh, the Highsoft Pascal and also the uh, Free Pascal for Amiga uh, which is I'm using a cross compiler for that and so I thought I'd try doing the same thing with C and uh, I spent the whole day basically uh, trying to figure this out and uh, well, I think I've uh, managed to do something. It might not look all that impressive, but here we go. So if this looks familiar, let me just uh, bring this over. So this is an image I just drew and basically exported to, let me bring up the uh, option here. So I export it to a bitmap array, and let me just show you how that looks. And this is what it gets generated. Um, now, this is not exactly what got generated. What got generated is this, and uh, I added the uh, chip keyword here because I looked through several examples of how uh, image data was being uh, stored in arrays with C, and uh, if you put the chip keyword here, it's supposed to load everything into chip memory, which I think that's great. You don't have to do any additional work. But with the uh, VBCC, um, it just doesn't seem to support this. Uh, it looks like it doesn't load anything into chip memory. So what I've had to do is just write a little bit of code here. And this took me forever, basically, because <laughs> I'm not a C programmer. Uh, this, uh, you know, casting things like this, uh, unsigned word, pointer, um, it just uh, hurts my brain. Uh, anyway, I figured out after a lot of trial and error, uh, the internet wasn't much helpful. Um, it doesn't seem like a, there's any examples with uh, VBCC to um, display a simple uh, image data examples. There's various other examples, but I, I couldn't find anything. Anyway, I ended up modifying it an old piece of code that basically came out of this old book here. Let me just bring that up. So I found this uh, PDF version of this book. Very helpful, actually. Uh, the programs in here, the ones I've tested, do manage to compile with a lot of warnings. So you get things like this. So but um, if you make the modifications to copy the, um, the data, the array data to chip memory, 
it actually works. So this is one of the examples from that book. And uh, the only changes I've had to do was uh, add these two lines here. And the uh, example works just like it does in the book. Um, and uh, I think everything else with the uh, the V sprites and also the uh, the Bob examples will also work out. I just need to spend a little bit more time, but the uh, draw image just seemed the uh, simplest thing to test it with and get it working. So if you're playing around with my program and uh, you want to get it working, this is the key piece of data right here. And uh, the cool thing about VBCC is that how easy it is to uh, compile to the 1.3 uh, target and also 3.1. So if I, here's my command line. So this is the uh, program I'm showing you. So if I do this, it compiles it. Let me just copy it to my temp folder. And I access my temp folder from the Amiga emulator. So I have the uh, Kickstarter 1.3 running. And uh, so it won't run if you just compile it without the uh, Kick 1.3 uh, switch. So let me just uh, go back and redo that. Again, this information is a little hard to find. So I'm just sharing it here with you in case you're having similar issues. So if we do kick one three now, uh, yeah, I compiled just fine. It, it gives you all these warnings, but it actually did. So let me just copy it over now. And if we switch back, same program again, and this time it works just fine. Now what's interesting, if we compile it for 1.3, let me just jump to 3.1 here, that also works. Now this looks a little different because the colors for 3.1 are different. Uh, if, we, uh, if, we, if we switch the palette, everything will look the same, but uh, again, it just uh, it looks this way because of the uh, default color scheme in in uh, 3.1. Anyway, I'll be uh, playing around with some more uh, C and hopefully learning a bit more. But I thought I'd share this with you because I'm probably going to forget it soon. Um, so if anybody's have any trouble with the uh, VBCC compiler. Uh, here's my command line. So uh, I found that if you use the dash, dash L auto and dash L Amiga, it works for most Amiga programs. Um, and I've tried a few programs that are intended for the uh, SAS compiler and uh, they seem to compile. You do have to change a few things, uh, but overall it's, it seems to work okay. I, only that uh, chip keyword uh, isn't supported. Or if it is and I'm doing something wrong, somebody let me know. And I think that's where I'll end this video. And uh, thanks for watching.